This video clip explains how to relocate the editing plane and create elements in the 3D view. Let's see how to create a new wall in the 3D view. Please note that the Home Story option is not available. The height, as well as the story the element is placed at in the 3D view, is defined by its elevation value. When we create a new element in the 3D view, ARCHICAD will set the closest lower story as the home story for the new element. For example, if the vertical position of a wall is defined so that its bottom is located between Story 1 and 2, then Story 1 will become the home story of this new wall. Starting with ARCHICAD 17, the placement of elements has also been modified in the 3D view. In previous versions, the vertical location of an element base is determined by the vertical position of the editing plane. Also, if we found any point with the smart cursor on an existing element in the 3D view, this point was projected to the editing plane, and this projected point in the editing plane was used for input, for instance to create a new wall. Starting with ARCHICAD 17, the position of the editing plane can be modified as required. We can locate any node of an existing element with the help of the smart cursor in the 3D view. Then we can press the ALT plus SHIFT key combination to move the user origin to the desired point. This will also move the vertical position of the editing plane. In other words, the vertical position of the editing plane always follows the user origin. When we click a general point in the 3D view, the element will be created on the editing plane. Please note, if the smart cursor finds an element node, edge, or face of an existing element, then the editing plane will temporarily move to this location, and this will be the point of placement. In this way, we can always place elements at any vertical position with the help of the smart cursor, without having to set elevation values or without modifying the location of the editing plane.